Here we are the DAMP lab. DAMP stands for Design, Automation, Manufacturing and Prototyping. So the mission of the DAMP lab is to deliver uh, faster, more scalable and more reproducible results that can be transitioned uh, from academia to society. And we rely for this on our expertise in synthetic biology and automation. What used to be a process that would take a technician uh, up to you know an hour of determining exactly what protocol to run and then manually pipetting it and trying to avoid errors uh, can now just be a technician uh, downloading an automatically generated protocol from our limb system and then dragging that onto the OT2 app and running the protocol automatically without having to worry about all the different manual steps that go into that process. I've already done, I don't know how many hundred mini preps in my life. I don't wanna do another 3000 mini preps in my life. So it's nice to like see this glimmer of hope that like all these things that we're doing manually day to day uh, can eventually be like automated, not just for like big labs at large companies, but even for like more day to day biologists. Our life is so much easier now because the OT2 is really good not only for the automation of synthetic biology, not only because it's uh, providing to us an environment where we can actually increase the throughput in our laboratory. It's improving the way that we train new students as well. Uh, it's so much easier to uh, write protocols for the OT2. Everybody likes to work with the OT2. Uh, they are not scared to work with the robots and we didn't have this before using like the very expensive, more difficult to program robots that we had before. We could assemble 400 genetic circuits in only two days and actually it was the first time that this was achieved for a single publication using the open drones. Other things I really like about the OT2 would be uh, hardware reliability and accuracy. So like for example, for this project assembling a whole bunch of circuits, we were struggling to figure out like, okay, how many hours is this gonna take by hand? We just got this OT2, maybe we'll just try it out on the OT2 and see if it works. And like just setting it up and putting things into place and running it, like everything immediately ran the first time with no issues with like calibration or like software hiccups. So that was really cool to see something that works out of the box 